Hey everyone, this is Charles Mitri from loungeboudoir.com and today I'm going to talk about how you can expect your boudoir photography business to change a lot. You're a boudoir photographer who has recently started their business and that's great. I know what it took to get to that point where you've become proficient enough with your camera and your lighting, your posing, getting your website together. That point is to be applauded and I congratulate you on that. Perhaps you've shot a few clients already. Maybe you've been shooting for six months, maybe even a year. Whether you're at that very beginning stage or perhaps further along, you can expect your boudoir photography business to change a lot. The business you have now is gonna look very different from the business that you have a year from now. Whenever we start out with a new endeavor, we're at that stage where everything is new and we have to learn everything. We're coming from a place where our learning curve is the steepest. And because we're learning everything, we're, we're kind of trying everything out. We're gonna be experimenting with pricing, packaging, maybe your style, your messaging, your brand, just to name a few. We're now going to be learning through the process of doing. It's no longer ideas that, you, that you've written down on a notepad or in your computer. This is going to be practical real world trial and error. You're gonna be asking yourself, how well is this working for me? Does this work for me? Will this work for me at a later point in my business, but not right now? Could this work better if I just did this? In fact, once you get out of the starting gates, it's gonna take a while for you to sort of find your lane. And then once you get in your lane and you're kind of in a groove, it's gonna take time to, to refine yourself in that groove, kind of refine everything that you're doing right. There are two types of changes, well, four types. I'm gonna talk about two right now. There's major changes and minor changes. A major change is something that will steer your business in a, in a new direction, and it, it's time consuming. It's gonna take time and energy to complete this change. For example, you're going to rent a studio for the first time. I mean, like on a yearly basis or something. You have to find the studio that you can afford that's gonna work for you. Then you have to get it all ready to shoot. That's a major change. Maybe you're going to change your style. You have to learn how to shoot in this new style. It's gonna require you to change you know, all your images on your website and maybe on your social media. And that's gonna take time. A minor change could be something like, well, I wanna raise my prices. So you go into your website and you just do some typing and you raise your prices. That's a minor change. Or you wanna offer a new opt-in on your website. You can just create a new offer. You know, it might take you and get it up on your site. That's an, another example of a minor change. So why do we make these changes in our business? Change is a result of trial and error. We're trying something, we evaluate if it's working, how well it's working, and then we change it. Everyone's business is different. Every single boudoir photographer's business is different from another boudoir photographer's business. They're as different as we are different as people. Going off on a little bit of a tangent here, that's why I recommend that when you're learning all about this this genre it's a good idea to learn from a variety of people you want different perspectives different people have different experiences and 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 learning from just one person i is not the best idea i mean you can learn a lot from one person but it's always a good idea to get more of a 360 degree view of whatever it is you're trying to do from a variety of people and that will really give you many more perspectives from which to decide sort of what you want to try the other two types of change, besides major and minor, are voluntary and mandatory. Now, a voluntary change is something that usually happens when things are going well. Like, everyone's buying my top package, so I have to raise my prices. That's, that's a voluntary change. A mandatory change comes about when things are not going so well. They're not going the way you want them to go. And let's say people are calling you, but you're not booking anyone or people might be not happy with their photography, the pictures that, that you're giving them. That's, that's a mandatory change. Something has to change in order for your business to move forward. There's a wrench in your system. It's not running smoothly. That requires a mandatory change. So the point of this video is really to prepare you for all the change that's going to happen in your journey from starting out to maybe a more intermediate 
uh, phase in your business. There's going to be a lot more change at the beginning because you're trying to find your lane, you're trying to figure things out, you're trying different things. Most of the major changes will come at the beginning of your business. Then when you get more established and you kind of get in your groove, the changes are going to be more minor, but change is always going to happen. There's always going to be change in your business. How many times have I said change in this video? Make change your, your friend, your ally, and not your enemy. And that's it for now. Please subscribe and like, and I will see you at a future point in the YouTube universe.